Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing an abnormal lymph node and we're looking at a low magnification view. So this is the outline of the lymph node. There is a little bit of uh, perinodal adipose tissue or fatty tissue and here is the nodal capsule. So going back on low magnification, we can see that uh, the architecture is abnormal. We no longer can see the nice lymphoid uh, lymph node cortex where we can see lymphoid follicles or the medulla where we can see the pale sinuses and the dark medullary cords comprising small lymphocytes. Instead, we see this diffuse replacement by an abnormal proliferation. So let's take a higher magnification look and we can see here that the proliferation is composed of lymphocytes. Many of the nuclei are very pale, they are quite translucent. Um, with open chromatin, and some of them have slightly uh, irregular nuclear outlines. For example, this cell is a little bit irregular, and some of the cells also have fairly uh, prominent nucleoli. For example, looking at this cell here, we can see a prominent nucleolus. And we're now going to figure out what is the size of these abnormal lymphoid cells. So the size is very important. They could be small, they could be medium sized, or they could be large. And one of the ways to ascertain the size is to look for a small resting lymphocyte and to compare the size of the abnormal lymphocytes. So there is a small resting lymphocyte here. Usually the nucleus is quite round and the chromatin is quite dark or dense. And if we were to compare this with the abnormal uh, lymphocytes around it, we could say that they're probably about twice or a little bit more than two times the size of the small resting lymphocyte. So this is in the size range of a large cell lymphoma. And of course, in order to type the lymphoma, we have to do immunohistochemistry and sometimes molecular tests as well. So uh, after doing immunohistochemical tests, this turns out to be a diffuse large B cell lymphoma. This is one of the commonest types of lymphoma with large cell morphology. And here actually we can also see quite a few mitotic figures. And this is usually uh, an aggressive tumor. However, it may respond well to chemotherapy. Let's have a look at another example. So here is a completely different lymph node and uh, we're looking at a medium magnification view and again we can see these sheets of abnormal lymphocytes with some paler areas. Let's take a closer look. Uh, many of these pale areas are actually macrophages. Uh, if you look at individual cells we can see a little nucleus and this abundant cytoplasm and some of these cells have this kind of uh, debris broken up nuclear material or chirorectic nuclear material in the cytoplasm so these are known as tingible body macrophages usually in very high grade very aggressive um, proliferating lymphomas we may sometimes see quite a lot of these tingible body macrophages because they eat up all the dead and dying tumor cells. So I'm going to show you another way to ascertain the size of the abnormal lymphocyte. So let's take this lymphocyte, for example, this is a neoplastic lymphocyte. And the other way is to actually compare them with the size of an endothelial cell. And I know this is an endothelial cell because it lines this vascular space here. We can see the red blood cells within this vascular space. Here is another endothelial cell. And if we compare the lymphocytes with this, we can see that the lymphocytes are practically the same size. Um, some of them are even slightly larger. So again, this is in the size range of a large cell lymphoma. So this is yet another case of a non-Hodgkin lymphoma with large cell morphology. And on immunohistochemical testing, this also turned out to be a diffuse large B cell lymphoma that is one of the commonest types of large cell lymphomas. Thank you.